I'm David the Bruce. This is Jungle Queens, and today we have part three of Sheena, which was an early 50s um, TV series starring Irish McCalla. Now we have four parts, and each one we have four episodes from that TV series. There's actually a few more, but I, I can't figure out what happened, man. We have 16 and the others seem to have disappeared. This series stars Irish McCullough. And, uh, uh, you know, she's a, a feminist in a leopard suit, man. Whoo-wee! She's amazing. And she left quite an impression. Um, it, it, she has it's a, a reputation and a name so significant that she has a minor planet named after her. Yep. She has a minor planet named after her. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And she became an artist. And uh, as an artist, she was part of the um, uh, Western, art, uh, Western female artists of America. Uh, and she's had her works displayed in prominent um, showcases. So, wow. She went from model, television star, screen. Oh, she did movies. <laughs> then she, uh, after a bout with cancer, went into painting. She's just a, she's not only a star, literally in heaven, but she is a, an artist that so captured the West in her art. Oh, I, I, you'll, you'll see some of her art. Just, just watch these and I'll put it up on the sides and everything. And uh, I hope it's not too distracting, but oh, you, we've just got so much to share with you. But let, let's get it on. Huh? I, I, I'm going to stop talking, and here we go. Some animal did that. He had me flat footed. Who is boy? I don't know. Who are you, boy? What you looking for here? Hunani, have a cornini. I don't understand Swahili. He must speak some language. 
Try Gober or Hafu. No. Boys tried from west, across my Yanga River. That's over a hundred miles away. Are you sure? Play from river. Cape Buffalo. You know the Nagomba. Well, I'd still give a pretty penny to know what I've got around here that bring a native boy over a hundred miles. And then make him try to kill me. Him try to kill because him frightened, boss. Well, so was I. Come on, boy. Ciao. Um, uh, eat. And... Stops to Ngombo country. Well, my assignment calls for getting baboon pictures. That country. People and animals both dangerous. I still gotta get the pictures. Bob take boy back. It's only a Mbuto. He may be only of a kid, but he got her on his own. Maybe not so lucky next time. Well. Well, okay. I hope he doesn't cause any trouble. Bob make roar like lion. But have good heart. <laughs> Say, what happened to that head barrow you promised me? He come from Punya. Chim lead him. Chim's bringing him. <laughs> we'll be lucky if he ever gets here. Here. Chim, leave boy alone. Not bother you. Fiaku, Fana Ba. Jumbo. Jumbo one. Sheena, I don't want to hurt the old boy's feelings, but I can't take six months to get the Nogomba. Bob, value of head men here and here. Not in feet. The pretty little one. I'll trust everything to you, Biako. Get the barrows and be here at dawn. See you at daybreak? I want to say. Thanks for making the arrangement, Sheena. Sheena, go now. Meet you in the Gomba country. Come, Jim. <laughs> some pictures of this terrain. Look, one of them. An unarmed man on the fringe of Nagambo country. Simba, Simba. The lion stalking him. Maybe I can bite him away. Yapu! Get his bag. You men! Move him over to that tree. Put him by the tree. Biako, I'll get my medical kit. This man is very sick. You watch him. I think you're doing. Sometimes good medicine in squish squish bag. Yeah, you mean voodoo. I thought the lion had me. Thanks for having saved my life. From the lions, perhaps, but what that boy had in his grease grease bag seemed to do the trick. Frankly, sir, uh, I thought you were a goner. What medicine? 
Chami, what are you doing in the jungle all alone? Excuse me, I should have introduced myself. I'm Dr. Becker from Bern, Switzerland. I'm here trying to find out the source of the Boca drug. Boca drug? Many years ago, when I was a young doctor, an intern, I saw a dead man literally brought back to life by a native drug in Johannesburg. All we knew, it was called Boca. Wow! This boy has Boca! Where did you get to, Doc? Where, what type are you from? Doctor, I, I... I don't think you'll have any luck. He won't talk. We haven't even been able to find out his name. But I have got to know. I worked many years to make this search. I know I'm near to, uh, to discover what I'm after. Doctor, I'm going to send you back to Nairobi with a couple of my men. After you've rested up, you can get together a safari and try again. I'm not a rich man and no one will finance me. I, I suggest you give it up and try again later. No, I will try alone if necessary. I'm afraid you won't get very far, Doctor. That lion isn't the only wild animal you run into. Please take me with you. When this boy reaches his village, I will find my secret. I, I have an assignment, Doctor. I can't delay any longer. We move on, Mona. Yes, Biako. Bob may roar like lions, but have good heart. But Sheena, first the boy, then Biako, now the doctor. I'll never get my pictures. You okay, what? You too? Sheena, what? Yeah, I'm all right. I guess. <laughs> Tell the boys to wait a minute. Come on, doctor. Let's go. I knew you would take me with you. I say to myself, the hunter has a roar like a lion, but a good heart. <laughs> <laughs> I know how anxious you are to get to Nagambo country, Doctor, but it's not often I get a chance to take a picture of a baby rhino with its mother. I'm hardly in a position to complain, Mr. Raver. After all, I'm here only due to your kindness. Doctor, move away from the camera quietly and slowly. Here comes a bull rhino. He's liable to charge anything that moves quickly. Biaco. I'll see if I can frighten the boy. Dr. Becker, look at him, Sheena. Dr. Becker? Well, yes. Remember, I talked to you about him. You were in the tree and said... Ah, you feel all right. Uh, Doc, ask your bearer to bring my black back. Quickly, please. Biako, get the doctor's bag, quickly. Heart stop. Fight, probably. No pulse. <laughs> but find out a bottle here. Marked. Adrenaline.
Stop! The grease grease back is missing. And the boca drop too. Possibly got rid of it when you were questioning, Doctor. He was pretty frightened. He probably stole the powder from the tribe's medicine man. Bob is right. Boy too young to have grease grease back. Maybe still afraid to go back to village. Then I will stay with the boy until he reaches his village. Then I will find out my secret. Well, in that case, I suggest we all take a rest. Especially you, Dr. Becker. You've had a pretty rough time of it. Now that we're in Nogombo country, we'll all have to be right on our toes. Let's move him. Doctor, we've got to get moving. We've got to get to this country as fast as possible. Oh, thank God for awakening me. But you should never have let me doze off. My patient. Oh, don't worry about him. I took the first watch and Sheena's with him now. If anything had gone wrong, we would have wakened you pronto. Well, I'll make us some hot coffee and see if I can wrestle up some food. Then if you think the boy's up to it, we'll push on. Shut him up! Boy missing, Sheena missing. My back, it's gone. It's that boy. Should never have let Sheena talk me into taking him along. That's what I get for taking along everybody who asks. I'm, I'm sorry, Doctor, I didn't mean that. It's just that boy seems to take everything he gets his hands on. First he tries to take my camera, and now your bag. Boy come from Nagomba country. They make big magic. Baby boy look for a white man's magic. What's commonplace to us in our medical practice Seems magic for the natives. Um, with a cowboy's trying to take my camera. Maybe you got a point there, Bianco. We'll start looking for Sheena and the boy. Sheena is not safe in this country, not within the Gombos. Tell the bearers, let's go. The Nagambos regard all outsiders as enemies. Very few strangers get into this country, and even fewer get out to tell about it. <laughs> Look for boy. Say he bring bad luck. They stay here. Not go. Oh, no. What next? Well, you can't blame them. They're nervous enough about being in the Gombo country without putting up with that kid's crazy antics. All right, tell them to wait here. We'll see if we can spot Sheena, but we won't go far. Sheena will be back with that boy. Sooner or later. Toka. All right, let's go. So boy know how to talk. Medio. Why you steal this? When I lost my box, no one knows small medicine. This big medicine. You not steal. And you not run away. Bob, go for a walk? Go for a walk? She's aware of you and the goo bin. She not sorry, Bob. She know what, boy, she run away. She may go for Chim. Boy run away. But not for long. <laughs> Boy seems in good condition. Why did he run away? He took my back. He said... You mean he can talk? Yes, sir. He's afraid to talk to you. He steal camera and bag because he thinks they make great medicine. He'd be a big witch doctor in his village. Not bad, boy. Only not understand. You're right, Cedar. He's just like any other kid that runs away from home to make good. But why pick on me? You stay. No run away. No steal. No, Buana. She may stay for no good. You show us your village. Show us Boca Drac. 
I'll take you. Show you drugs. I promise. Good. Now we can get some sleep tonight, and Nagoo can show us the way to the village in the morning. Go on. Jim, come watch, boy. <laughs> What else can happen to him? Now the bears are gone with Nagoo. Only this time I don't think he ran away. He was taken by force. Jim gone too. She didn't tell him watch Nagoo. Rifle gone? Most of food one. I'd like to get my hands on those men. Of all the lowdown tricks. Does this mean that we will abandon our trip into the interior of Nogambo country? I should say not. When I first met you, you said in your profession you couldn't turn back. Well, I can't in mine either. We'll get something to eat and push on. Yako, get some water. <laughs> Boy, what pictures I could get if that rhino hadn't broken my camera. Bob almost get pictures. Doctor almost get medicine. This is small words, but has much power. <laughs> I hardly expected you to turn out to be a philosopher, Sheena. But I have a feeling. Bob will get his pictures, and I will get my medicine. <laughs> hey, look at that. saw him with you. Tell me. He was with us, but he disappeared with my bearers during the night. Return him to me and you may go safely. We did no harm to him. He even promised to tell me the secret of the Boca drug. I, Emperor Solid, will keep my son's promise. Return him to me safely, and I will show you secret of Boca drug. Now, for the last time, where is he? We don't know. Your men must have frightened my bears away during the night, and they took Nagu with them. Enough words. Then Tinny!
waited a long time, but my son has not returned. Now it is time of vengeance. Juma Junga. has not returned, so you must die. From my warriors, I will pick a new son to be emperor when I am dead. Batinga! Honda! Stop it, father! Stop it! Nugu, you're back, my son. Yes, father. I hurry about to protect these people, for they have saved Nugu's life. Release them. This one, the doctor, bring Nugu back to life after heart stop beating. After heart stop beating? My people not know of this medicine. How do you do this? I will be glad to share all my knowledge with you. We trade secrets. You teach me your medicine, I teach you my medicine. Yeah. Then I send a guard to take you home. Uh, how do you make this medicine? Well, uh, it's uh, a kind of a powder and acts upon glands, adrenal glands, ah. the cortex. You know, I bet. <coughs> it's too bad all secrets not in like this. If only people would learn to exchange knowledge instead of bullets. <laughs> You'll greet him? My subject matter is as varied as everything else I do. I paint in oil, watercolors, and pastels. I enjoy painting nudes, seascapes, landscapes, Indian portraits, and mountain men. Whatever I'm doing at the time seems to be my favorite subject. Living and showing my work in Arizona, I tend to have a greater call for Western art, but my paintings of children and nudes are also in good demand.
Take back. Take back. Come, Jim. Water. Nice. Jim, afraid of water? Come back to Sheena, huh? Give clothes. been his rifle we found further back then. He's tiring. Yeah, Bruno won't tire, though. Let's get moving if we're going to catch him. Tired, Keel. Where's your gun? In the swamp. I almost ran into a search party from the mines. They're after the... They won't be... Are you crazy? If I was, would we have these? <laughs> Uncut diamond. Once we get into the clear, who will prove that they came from the jest of mine? I'll tell you who, the partner we ran out on. Stop complaining, Kilo. You get a bigger cut this way, don't you? Yes, I live to share it, but maybe I won't live. No safari, no guide. We'll have guides. The kind of guides that will take us when no search party is going to follow. Sign of the Qatari, no! I made a deal with them, stupid! Now I know you're crazy. The Qatari are outlaws, renegades from every tribe in the jungle. What are you? They kill you just to get your gun. They'll get it. There's a dozen more like it. Ask them to take us across their land. That's the deal. No, don't put them away now, Bruner. Don't put them away. Give me my share. We'll split up, and I'll go on my own way. Separate from you, Kigo. Oh, I couldn't bear to think. I want my share! <laughs> Rafiki. Friend. Even if they don't kill you, you'll still be caught. Oh, then it is taboo. Not to Sheena. If she joins the search party, you're finished. Maybe you are going to be finished first. Are you coming or not? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> and save your own neck by setting them on our trail? Head for him! That would be Bruner and Kegel. Something's happened. It came from that direction. Fan out about 50 yards apart. <laughs> Why didn't you jump him quicker? We have been followed since last night. Come quick! No! Wait. If anybody heard the shot, this is our chance to find out how big a party is on our trail. Back in here. Did you?
More men come. No, Sheeta. He didn't do it, Sheena. He was with me when we heard that shot. Well, he's not shot. Got a nasty blow on the back of the head, though. He'll be out for a while. He tried to steal from sleeping man Bob. Sheena, see. I was looking for a wound, just as you did. Mr. Logan's a security officer for the Jasper Diamond Mine. This man and another one robbed the mine. Search parties are combing the jungle for them. It's Mr. Logan's job to get the diamonds back. He not call you when he find man Bob. Well, I was afraid he was dead. I, I just didn't think. <laughs> oh, Bob, tell me about you and your pet. We were hoping we could have your help. She can help Bob any time. Which one of them is it? Eagle. Then Bruno must have decided he didn't want a partner anymore. Wonder why I didn't shoot him. It's me. Well, that shot was fired at something. Katari. No, Sheena. The Katari never come this side of the mountain. Their territory is that way. Look. Bob. He's right. They must be holding Bruner. The Katari never take prisoners, Logan. Then where is he? Man with shoes walk with Katari. Easy, not forced. Maybe he made a deal with them for safe conduct. Yes. And I think I know what kind of a deal. They want guns so they can attack armed safaris instead of preying on weaker tribes. Nothing we can do about it. Well, we can follow them. I don't know that country. It's taboo. The barrows won't set foot in it. She no no land of Qatari. She can lead us. No. We'll go in alone. But we need her. Are you going to let Bruna pay them off with guns? Do you want them in a position to slaughter every trading safari that comes through the jungle? You're right, Logan. Our best bet is to get ahead of them and cut them off, Sheena. How do we do it? Easy way is by elephant trail. We go faster by crossing mountains to Katari village. We'd better take extra bandoliers of ammunition along. Break out the ammunition. They have too much gunpowder. You'll jump them at your village. All right, pack it up. Let's get going. Do as I say. We'll have to go on without them. Well, oh, just as well. Make them guard him. We'll pick him up on the way back. If we come back. What is it, Tina? Grass and bushes, Ben. Ground's still warm. Someone watch us from here. How long ago? Maybe five minutes. Not more. Well, let's get after them. My company loses a half a million dollars if Bruner gets through. I thought you were interested in the lives at stake, Logan, including your own. Well, if I can do my job at the same time... Watch him when he comes to. Don't let him get away. All right, Sheena. as far as Sheena goes. Their guns won't do them any good if they have to go into the huts looking for us. Stake them out. Come. I'll be in in a minute. I have to take out a little insurance in case anything happens. Go in, I said.
They're coming. Your men know what to do? Have they been here, Sheena? Men with shoes. Well, you deserve it. They've moved on already. I don't like it. They wouldn't have taken their women with them. They may be watching us from any place in the jungle, waiting for a chance to jump us. An ambush? It's their best bet, isn't it? We have two rifles against Bruna's one. You have a look at that one. I'll take this one. Careful, Sheila. Should have let him shoot while he had the chance. Take that gun. Outside now. Sheena. Are oh, you all right? He hit me with gun. You really thought. You are going to get to me, Logan. I know what to expect from you. Why don't you do it and get it over with? I will. But I'm ready. I want some information first. How many search parties are after me and where? Answer me! Maybe your guide will tell me. He might be easier to persuade. Tell him. How about it? Two other search parties, but they're both headed southwest from Mombasa. We're the only ones that came this way. <laughs> you really thought that would be easy. Too bad. Kido didn't come with you. He underrated me too. But I assure you, he's better off than you are going to be. Let Sheena go. I'm not holding her. Yes. You might have made a deal with your rifles, but since they've got them, that's <laughs> I bet you never realized how close you were to what you wanted. You walked right by it. The diamonds, they're gone. I put them in here. What did you do with them, Logan? You hit them in that. Don't stop, Logan. We came back. That chimp. That animal of hers. He climbed up there. Where is she? Tell me, or use your head. She's our only chance to get the stuff back. Well, so now you know. You didn't think he was clever enough to plan a mine job, did you? Why, he's so bright, he'd kill her off and lose our every chance to get the stuff back. And you were so noble about keeping these devils from getting guns. I should have known it took inside planning to rob that mine. You want to go on your own, genius? Or will you tell your playmates I'm with you? Now we'll do things my way, partner. Get the chimp and bring those diamonds back. We leave here with the diamonds or he never leaves. Don't come back. You better hope she does, mister. She's trying to signal someone. That's her call for Jim. That's right. 
She used it when the chimp got lost on the trail coming here. If you knew it, why did you let her go? She could have thrown that horn right from here. Send one of your men after her. Get her back here. Rita! Yeah, yeah, Rita! sure that you don't run away if you find her. Or if you do, that's the chance we both have to take. If you don't like it, you can stay here and wait until she comes back after him. Sheena take rifle to box. Jim, stay here. they'll kill you in payment. You should have kept them and their guns while you had the chance. Crew get guns, or crew kill all. Sadia, Bawanda. Sadia. Sadia, Bawanda. Sadia. 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 Chimp. Sadia. Come here. Come here, Chimp. Sadia, I won't hurt you. Bawanda, Sadia. What's going on in there? What were those shots? She did not know, Bob. Come quick, we've gun for you. What about Tim? Did he have the diamonds, a small bag? Then they may have been shooting at him.
Now there's only Logan's rifle left against him. He must have the diamonds. I found this empty, and these. Jim must have had them. He probably... All right now, Jim. All right now. Not while Logan's loose with that rifle and the diamonds. Maybe he'd go back to village, Bob. Yes. If he has the stones, he'll make use of Bruner's plan now. Get them to take him through. We stop. <laughs> Carew's got the rifle now. I've got to get it away from him. It's Logan. <laughs> well, that's the last of the guns. Maybe someday you'll learn that killing is a way of death, not a way of life. Zituni! I wonder what happened to the diamonds. Jim, what do you do with stones that were in this bag? He doesn't remember? No. He only remembers what he does with things good to eat. They're lost in here forever, then. A half million dollars. Bob is sad? No, Sheena. Not sad. The diamonds brought death. Perhaps Jim left them where they can do the least harm.
trying to kill off with this stuff. Jungle girl or us? I know what I'm going to kill when I get out of here. <laughs> that jungle girl that comes to bed with you? Sheena? That's right. You couldn't have been much of a circuit strongman, Kendall, getting taken by a girl. <laughs> You're so terrific, such a great magician. Why don't you make yourself disappear? Ah. Uh. Here's where we all disappear. Ah! 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 Timber! Snake! 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 Ah! 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 Chief Loggy, there's your village all rebuilt. Now, with Bull Kendall in prison, you shouldn't have any more trouble. Sheena saved treasure for Ninomo tribe. Chief Loggy share. Sheena not want treasure. Civet musk worth much gold. Give to Montoto. His people help fix village. No. Montoto and Loggy friends. Our tribes like brothers. Now my people go back to Great River and fish. Rafiki! Rafiki! Montoto and Lagi friends always. Waimi, no, no, Landa. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Chief Lagi. Rafiki. Rafiki, Sheena. Jim. <laughs> Trading post about a quarter of a mile up that way. Okay, well, let Rafiki here uh, dump the load while we're gone. Hmm? No water. We keep lying. What for? To start tribal war. Tribal, tribal war? war? Yes. We poison river with lime and make Virginia think the Nomos do it. What you want to do that for? While they kill each other, we steal civet treasure. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Who's gonna tell them? They kill any one of us on sight. I've got it. You have to go by Evan's store to pick up your wife. We'll have her tell them. Another dawn. Oh, it's easy. I'll hypnotize her. Yes. And then she'll give him any message we want. Ah, it won't work. They know her. Not the way we'll fix her up. I used to do it in vaudeville. Hypnotize my own wife. Dress her up real fancy like, see? And I called her Mazuma, the queen of the spirit world. Ladies and gentlemen, the great person now presents for your entertainment, Mazuma, the queen of the spirit world. They paid money in London to see us. I don't see any reason why we can't form a bunch of natives. Well, who wouldn't hurt her? What a turf it makes sense to Rafik. Yeah, who asked you? Okay, you stay with the truck. Come on. Miss Kendall, it's none of my business, but uh, you work so hard for your money, then you send it to... The little I can send Bull will buy him some comfort in jail. But the way he treated you. Please, Mr. Evans. I'd like to have him here just five minutes. Five minutes, understand? I teach him a lesson. Go ahead, Evans. What's this lesson you're going to teach me? Why, you... No, oh, don't! Now look what you did. Don't move, boy. Is she all right? 
Yeah. Bob, well, pick her up. Pick her up. Put her in the chair. Come on, pick her up. Put her in the chair. Hurry up. Now, don't move. And that goes double for you, mister. Look like prison clothes. Hey! <laughs> That jungle girl and that unfit. She men, Ray Byrne. I want both of them. If they're going to keep us pinned down here, we're in real trouble. I'll get us out of here. Put your clothes on here. All right. Ah, way up. <laughs> you see man in window? Paul Kendall. I can't return the fire. Evans and Mrs. Kendall are in there someplace. <laughs> Jim Hyde like us. We can't rush them. We can keep them holed up. She can go around back. No. Wait. That's about everything we need. Okay, well, I'll carry your wife. Oh, no, you don't. I carry my own wife. Come here. Okay. I want to have it. Hold it. Look out, Sheena. Whoa! They must have got out the back door. Bob, stay help. Sheena! You better go with her, Bob. Get word to the district commissioner as soon as you're able. Something move on. Hmm? It's the chip. Wait a minute. Why you stop me, Wada? He makes plenty of trouble for us. I know, but he's gonna help us. He's gonna help us catch Sheena after we catch him. The feet not understand Wada. Gonna use him as bait. Not so dumb. Had a pretty high IQ. Well, I was younger then. Come on, let's catch him. <laughs> Well, it'd take a magician to catch him. Magician? Why, well, I'm a magician. I'll hypnotize him. Hypnotize animal? Well, of course. The weaker the mind, 
The more easily the subject is hypnotized to the judge. Come on, monkey. Come on now. Watch it swing real nice. Real nice. Come on, Come on, now. Come on, 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 I've got an ill, and if I'm knocked out, and then where will you be? And another thing, you know that your wife would have no part of this scheme if she weren't hypnotized, and don't you forget it. Okay, okay. Pardon me. I think you find anything for that Mazuma costume? Find this. Oh. Hey, Turpin, let me see that little thing. You know, the thing that you twirl? Oh. No. Good. Here, Helen. Grab that. Make yourself a costume like Mazuma, Queen of the Spirits. Hey, my feet. Come here. There's one, huh? Look at this thing. Sleep. 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 Nothing wrong, Juana? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's get going. Where's Helen? Come out, come out. Mazuma, queen of the spirit world. Helen. I am the queen of the spirit world. I'll be doggone. Gotta hand it to you, Turpin. I'll take the queen down to the Virginia village and meet you near the end of the river. Ahora 
Rafiki. I am the queen of the spirit world. Oh, yes. I see a great famine coming. The fish in the river will die. No, Montoto not believe you. Fish will not die. Ninomo will cast a spell upon the river. No, Ninomo tribe are friends. Sheena has turned them against you. You lie. Tomorrow, the river will be filled with death. Ah! Bana! Bana! Hold it here, Rafi. Take care of it. What's up, mate? Up to the line, Ruffy. Well, I just got back from seeing the queen of the spirit world. From what I saw, she's queen of the whole Virginia tribe by now. Good. Where's Sheena? In the river. You mean she got away? If you call those getting away. Yeah. Yeah. Rafiq, what are you waiting for? Yes, one of them. The Ninomo must be destroyed. There's a scandal. What happened to you? What are you telling these people? Sheena and the Ninomos are your friends. Sheena's friend is your enemy. She's sick. Look at her eyes. She's in some kind of a trance. No. Don't go after Bob. Kill the Ninomos. They are your enemies. Get your weapons. Ihai, Wao Jumba. What do you do with that thing? Rafik send message to Ninomos. Make them pick us from what genius. Make trouble. Start big fight. in many times water, so they get message. Well, stop sending the carbon copies. I got too much on my mind. <laughs> the great turbo presents Majuma, the queen of the spirit world. What have you done with my wife? What have you done with my wife? You nearly done it. You nearly done it. Done what? Broke the contact, the spirit contact I've maintained with Ellen. A great mental strain to myself, I might add. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. If she don't show up with those Regina's pretty soon, like you said, I'm going to put an end to your mental strain for a long time with this, see? 
Bwana, Bwana. Virginia, come. Okay, let's fight out. Well, you no more leave that village to fight. We get civic treasure. We all be rich. What about Helen when we make our getaway? There you go. No faith. No faith at all. I'll send her a message to meet us in, in Nairobi. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I want. No duck down so they won't spot us. Drop that rifle, Paul. You too, Rafiki. Sheena, get the rifle. I wish you'd change your mind about leaving. We sure would like to have you stay, wouldn't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah, sure. See what I mean? That makes it an anonymous. You know what I mean? Anonymous. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. And I want to thank each of you for being so good to me. And especially you, Howard. Oh, shucks, it was nothing. Not what I would like to do. Thanks. Thanks again for everything. Well, shall we go? Yeah, let me carry it, will you? Mrs. Kendall. Yes, Sheena? Sheena not understand. So much trouble about civet must. You say worth much money for perfume. That's right. You say make ladies smell nice. Civet smell awful. Well, it's just the base. They add scent to it and it smells fine. Like this, Sheena. Sheena likes. <laughs> Jim, come back. It's all right, Sheena. Let him have it. It may make him very popular in the jungle. Surgical scientists in every country all over the world are dedicated to the future truth that human life one day might be extended indefinitely by the replacement of defective or worn out parts. I'm going to try something radical. I don't know if you're going to like it. It doesn't matter as long as you save his hands. From medicine's secret files comes the astounding case of the surgeon who replaced the shattered hands of a maimed pianist with the inhumanly strong hands of a dead killer. You think you understand the human hand? I'll teach you more than you ever thought you knew about. You're not a doctor. You're a monster, a selfish, crazy monster. <laughs> They were my life. Now 
I'm carrying the life of someone I know nothing about. Then you must learn again. Or you will have no life. Hands of a stranger that he could no longer control. Hands of a stranger with a primitive urge to kill. Hands of a stranger reaching for the soft flesh of the girl he loved. <laughs> you a dozen times about sneaking off and taking pot shots at the animals. And what's wrong with a little target practice? We've plenty of food. This trip isn't for your amusement. We're here on a serious assignment. You can spare me the lecture, Rayburn. I've heard it before. <laughs> You haven't even started the fire. There's something you'd better get through your head right now, Peppy. Even if your father is a banker, he hired me as a guide, not a servant. Suppose you make the fire. Me? Don't you think you're being a bit ridiculous, Rayburn? Let me know when breakfast is ready. I 
I've always wondered what it is that makes a man like you tick. Why don't you give up? Because your father sent you out here to learn the meaning of responsibility. That was his idea, not mine. I don't care whose idea it was. You don't learn anything by letting other people do all the work. You're going to make that fire, Peppy. The hard way, if necessary. Okay, Rayburn. Anything you say. That's better. Come on, I'll show you what to do. These small sticks have started burning. Get some big ones like this first. Yes, sir. I'll break the food out. respect your father and his reasons for sending you out here, I'd pack you back to Nairobi right now. You do and you'll never lead another safari after what I tell my father. He wouldn't believe you. This is your last chance to prove yourself and you know it. From now on, you earn your living. Bob! <laughs> Sheena, your sock. Come quick. It was just an accident, Sheena. This is Pepe de Vega. His father is a banker that helped the tribes through the famine last year. Your father, good man. Thank you. Where's Bob going? To the village of the Chapalas. Know anything about them? Sheena wants to meet Bossy Chief at Chapalas. Not friendly. That's why I have to see him. His tribe controls the river. Bob not like that? It's bad for the other tribes, Sheena. Especially the Gobies further up the river. Sheena no Gobies. The Gobies produce more hemp than they need for their own use. Peppy's father wants to help them sell what's left over. It's good for Gobies. Make trade. The only trouble is the only cheap way to ship it is down the river by canoe. Chapala's never let canoe go down river. River's sacred to them. That's why I've got to see Bashi. Dangerous for Bob to go near Chapala village. Maybe Sheena help. How? Sheena talk to Bashi first. Tell him why Bob coming. It might work since he knows you. Sheena go now. You <laughs> Shim, stay here. Wait a minute, Sheena. <laughs> I'm going with you. Chapala's not let you into village. Well, I'll escort you to its outskirts. I want to talk to you. You come later with Bob and Jim. But I insist. You'll do as you're told. What makes you think so? You two not friends? Pepe isn't a man, he's a child, and doesn't belong in the jungle until he grows up. Come, I show you. <laughs> In jungle, big fellow help little fellow grow up. Now she can go. So the lady in the leopard skin thinks I'm a baby. Maybe she thinks we both are. But who is she? What does she do out here anyway? The tribes call her Queen of the Jungle. Queen of the Jungle? Come on, you're still going to make that fire. No, thanks. I'm going to follow her. Just why are you so anxious to go with her? I want to talk to her. About what? You said my father was going to cut me off. Well, I think she can help me make my own living. Sheena? How? Simple. By letting me take her back to Macau. To Macau, Sheena? Queen of the Jungle! Savage girl from the heart of Africa. Why, she'll be a sensation with that chimp. I've had about enough of you. That goes double. You're going back to Nairobi. I'll finish your father's work alone. Out of my way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
No. Nor let go the canoes through river. Why she will not talk to Sheena's friend? Why she no one talk? But he come long way from Nairobi. Not care. Tell friend stay away from village. Sheena tell friend. <laughs> through river. What's that got to do with my being in the river? River's sacred to them. They find you in river, they kill you. Come out. Sacred river. I'm not going to be impressed with a lot of native nonsense. I came in for a swim. Come on. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yap untuk pin adaba. Jalalah, hida, tuja, hida. Ya, galat, drut, demi. What's he saying? He say, we must be sacrificed to river. Ya. Sajala, jibala. Sajala, hida.
my fault. I'm sorry. Ah, forget it. I not only risked your lives, but I've ruined any chance of the Chapala's ever letting the Gobi Canoes use the river. Maybe Pepe wrong. Maybe Chapala's changed mind. How can we convince them? Sheena have plans. That's why no touch guard at river. I was wondering why you had a circle around him. He not see Sheena help you, so he tell Bashi, Bob and Pepe get out of river alone. Well, what good would that do? You see. <laughs> They alive. They alive because sacred waters judge them good. River not want them to die. Jesus, Sheena, say, River not want them for sacrifice. If River judge them good, then Bashi must listen to them. Bashi, I ask one small favor for the Gobi tribe. Let their canoes come through your section of the river. Bashi, don't know what to say. River is sacred. The river is not selfish, Bashi. It wants everyone to use its waters. Bashi will let Gobi canoes go through. <laughs> What a wonderful piece of handwork. Bob, if the Gobis can sell hemp, why can't the Chapalas export these? The Sacred River has shown approval of your decision, Bashi. The Gobi canoes will also carry your basket work to Melindi. It'll make the Chapalas rich with trade goods. Bob, I'm ready to make my own way in Africa. I like the country and the people, all of them. That's the first big step in making them like you. Sheena like. Jim, we go. Uh -huh. 